everybody. So this particular Connie Corso here has short ears. Obviously, if you have short ears, there's aeration going in. It's going to dry a lot of the moisture as she runs. Now, I've noticed some of the issues in that can create some complication is when the ears are down here. It's going to depend on the bloodline. It's going to depend on the puppy. Sometimes you have a puppy with long. Sometimes you have a puppy with short. Yes, it's 100% Connie Corso bloodline, whether it's long or short. Don't get nervous if your dog looks like a Weimarimer. I've seen some dogs with Weimarimer type ears, super long. I've seen them like this, which is pretty short. This is almost a cropped ear. So, this girl is not gonna receive a crop. Plus, hey, you know, this particular look I think is really cute. I think your ears hang down. Needless to say, we're talking now about care. So, the proper care and the proper way, you just take a paper towel, maybe you dampen it. You just wanna kinda go in to this area and just use common sense. You're gonna be gentle and you're gonna just press a little bit and pull up and you know, you'll get a little bit of dirt in there. I do this once a day, all right? And you want them to get used to that, all right? Depends on how much they play. Obviously, the more they play, the dirtier and more work it's going to be. But it's important to go ahead and do that. Because if you don't, you have moisture build up. Moisture leads to bacteria. Bacteria leads to an ear infection, which can be really bad. Because if an ear infection is left um, and it continues to grow, what can happen? It can actually go and become an infection in the brain area. And that's very negative. So, overall, cropping in general, in my opinion, does have some benefits. Why? Because natural feral dogs, dingoes, coyotes, wolves, when you have a dog that goes into the wild, studies show that after generations, those ears tend to stand up. It is more natural, you know, to have those ears aerate, so to speak. It's kind of like the feral pig grows tusks after a few generations. So, is it a horrible thing? Now, you may say, well, if it's natural, then why uh, does the kind of course have floppy ears? Well, that's humans have intervened to change things, and as a result, that's what we're getting. So, that's just the way it is. So, in general, the care of the ears, you know, just use common sense, depending on the activity of the dog, but make sure that you clean it. And don't put alcohol in there. Don't put peroxide. Some people will do that. It's not good. You just want to go ahead and dampen it a little bit. Paper towel, tissue. But take care of the dog's ears. And you can avoid uh, costly visits to the vet. Antibiotics. But more importantly, keep that dog healthy. Okay? So wipe the ears. Keep the ears nice and clean. Um, obviously, if you have cropped ears, you're going to have to do less maintenance because there's a lot of aeration going in there. The floppier the ears, as a rule of thumb, then, you know, the more that you're going to have to really keep track and watch that. Hope this helped. Take care and have a good one.